Elias Abulazim, born August 28, 1976, is a convicted Israeli murderer and suspect in a series of racial serial killings and stabbings. He is suspected in a series of 18 stabbing attacks that occurred during the spring and summer of 2010 and resulted in the deaths of five people. The majority of the attacks occurred in Michigan's Genesee County, particularly in and around Flint. Outside of Michigan, four stabbings occurred, three in Leesburg, Virginia, and one in Toledo, Ohio. Abulazim is also being investigated in connection with an unsolved homicide in Leesburg in March 2009. Abulazim's alleged victims were all described as small-framed men, the majority of whom were African Americans. The Michigan media dubbed him the Genesee County Serial Slasher during the investigation, or alternately the Genesee County Serial Stabber. At the time of his arrest, Abulazim stood 6 feet 5 inches, 1.96 meters, tall and weighed 280 pounds, 130 kilograms. Abulazim has been convicted in one of the murders, that of 49-year-old Arnold Minor on August 2, 2010 in Flint, Michigan. He is currently serving a life sentence without parole for that crime. As a result, Genesee County prosecutors announced that Abulazim will not face charges for the other crimes committed in their jurisdiction, and authorities in Toledo and Leesburg will not prosecute him. He is currently incarcerated at the Ionia Maximum Correctional Facility in Ionia, Michigan, where he is identified by the inmate number 842658. Abulazim was born in central Israel and is a citizen of the country. He was raised in a prosperous Christian Arab family in the Israeli city of Ramla. He later relocated to the United States after obtaining a green card, however, he is not a citizen of the United States. Elias Abulazim, according to the U.S. State Department, changed his name to Elias Abulazim in March 1995. Until 2008, Abulazim worked as a mental health technician at Piedmont Behavioral Health Center, LLC, a psychiatric facility in Leesburg, Virginia, now known as North Spring Behavioral Healthcare. From July 5 to August 1, 2010, he worked as a clerk at Kingwater Market in Beecher, Michigan. The majority of customers addressed him as Eli. He was charged with providing alcohol to a minor on July 29, the same day a 59-year-old man in Flint, Michigan was stabbed. According to the warrant, Abulazim's legal address is in Bradenton, Florida. According to Michigan Secretary of State records, he previously resided in Grand Blanc, Michigan. Abulazim most recently resided in a house owned by his uncle on Maryland Avenue near Regal Avenue on Flint's east side. On July 30, 2004, Abulazim married Jessica Hearth, alternative names, Jessica Nimitz and Jessica Abulazim. Kimberly Hearth, Abulazim's former mother-in-law, said her daughter and Abulazim met in Texas while he was visiting cousins. Kimberly expressed shock and described Abulazim as a nice person. Jim Hearth, his former father-in-law, expressed surprise as well. Jim Hearth stated in an August 2010 interview that Abulazim verbally abused his daughter. Jessica and Abulazim divorced in 2007. He was married twice in total. Jessica, his ex-wife from Arlington, Texas, expressed shock at the news of his crimes. Abulazim, according to police and prosecutors, would drive around late at night, approach men walking alone, ask for directions or assistance with his vehicle, and then stab them. Abulazim's alleged victims have overwhelmingly been black, and Leesburg police suspect the attacks were racially motivated. Prosecutors in Genesee County, on the other hand, have refrained from speculating on his motivation. Abulazim is also suspected of stabbing a friend in the face with a screwdriver in early 2010 while visiting family in Ramla, Israel. The case was dropped by police after the friend declined to press charges. According to Leesburg Police, Abulazim is also a suspect in an unsolved March 2009 homicide. On August 4, 2010, Genesee County announced that a string of stabbings in the Flint area dating back to May was the work of a single man. The following week, on August 9, police in Leesburg connected three stabbings there using descriptions of the suspect, his vehicle, and his mode of operation provided by their victims. That same day, Genesee County established a multi-jurisdictional full-time task force. The following day, Toledo police claimed the suspect was also involved in a stabbing there. He was arrested on August 5 during a traffic stop in Arlington, Virginia. He was arrested on a warrant for simple assault and later released on personal bond. Abulazim was apprehended by U.S. Customs and Border Protection officers at Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport on August 11 at 10 p.m. ET as he prepared to board a Delta Airlines flight bound for Tel Aviv. He waived his right to appeal his extradition to Michigan on August 13. The family of Abulazim has retained Lansing attorneys Brian Morley and Edward Zina. On August 26, 
he was flown to Flint and booked into the Genesee County Jail. Abul Azam is being held in solitary confinement, most likely for his own safety and as a result of his alleged involvement in extremely violent crimes. At his arraignment, the judge ordered him held without bond, despite the prosecutor's request for $10 million bail. The judge ruled during the evidentiary hearing in the Arnold Minor murder case that evidence from the other Genesee County attacks could be used in the trial. On May 8, 2012, the trial began. Miner's blood on a pair of pants discovered in Abiel Azam's luggage was the prosecution's key piece of evidence. The prosecution rested on May 15 after calling 50 witnesses, including additional victims and their relatives, several forensic experts, and Abiel Azam's uncle, who assisted police in apprehending him. On May 17, two days later, Abiel Azam's attorneys presented an insanity defense, their sole witness was a psychiatrist hired by his attorneys, who diagnosed him with paranoid schizophrenia and testified that Abul Azam told him he committed the crimes due to evil spirits. Additionally, the doctor stated that Abul Azam informed him that he attempted suicide in 1997 and was diagnosed as psychotic in 2009 by an Israeli psychologist. The prosecution responded by calling the psychiatrist's credibility into question, pointing out that his area of expertise is drug and alcohol addiction treatment. The following day, the prosecution presented two of their own mental health experts to refute the psychiatrist's diagnosis. Two psychologists testifying on the prosecution's behalf agreed that, while Abul Azam possessed an unspecified personality disorder and lacked empathy, his attacks were far too well planned and organized for him to be considered legally insane. On May 22, 2012, the jury found Abul Azam guilty of minor's murder after only an hour of deliberation. Abul Azam was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole on June 25, 2012. The Genesee County Prosecutor's Office charged him on August 26, 2010 with one count of assault with intent to murder in connection with an attack on July 27, 2010. On September 20, 2010, he was charged with four additional counts of assault with the intent to murder. The victims are Bill Fisher, who was attacked on June 26, 2010, Richard Booker, who was attacked on July 19, 2010 in Genesee Township, Michigan, Edwin Wilson, who was attacked on August 1, 2010 near Pearson Road, and Devon Rawls. On October 8, 2010, a grand jury in Toledo, Ohio indicted Abul Azam and charged him with felonious assault in connection with the stabbing of church janitor Tony Leno. On October 21, 2010, he was charged with murder in the stabbing deaths of Flint, Michigan residents Frank Kelly Brew and Darwin Marshall. On November 4, 2010, he was charged with two counts of resisting and obstructing a police officer resulting in injury and three counts of resisting and obstructing a police officer following an October 27, 2010 incident in which he attempted to punch a deputy and was tasered with the assistance of four other officers. He was charged with malicious destruction of property on November 12, 2010 for smashing out the windows of a car belonging to James Augsburger, witness to Lucinda Mann's boyfriend. He was charged with assault with intent to murder on November 23, 2010 in connection with the stabbing of Antoine Jackson on July 12, 2010 in Burton, Michigan.